what are we going to get into today? Well, maybe there's something to wake you up in the morning. Coffee shine. That's that's what we're going to get into today. Uh, it, it's a real good um, picker up in the evening. Something to you know, sip outside. You know, it's getting nice, cool weather already. Um, you could even put a little bit of creamer in it. I think it'd be fantastic. All right. So, the first things first. Well, two things. Happy Moonshine Wednesday, and welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy. This is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay. <coughs> Like always, I'll put the ingredients down into the description box, so you can get that if you're inclined to want to make this. Uh, but, here's the big but. I'm only making a half a batch right now, because uh, I think that's all I'm going to need. Uh, but, I will, in the description box, I'll put the full recipe in there. But, if, so if the numbers are off a little bit, it's because I'm making a half a batch today. Okay. So, what do we need first? Well, we need a pot, like always. Okay, so I got 12 cups. Ah, back up. I got 6 cups of a good strong coffee. Make it good strong. Alright, so I'm going to put that in the uh, pot here. And it is strong. Okay. The next thing I want to put in there is uh, two cups of a brown sugar. I'm using light brown sugar. And if I do this without splashing the coffee all over. Alright, I did it. Alright. So let me uh, turn some heat on under this. And to get melt that sugar which is that and it's hot as coffee I really it ain't gonna take much to melt that sugar I mean this is gonna be so delicious and the only other while this is heating up the only thing else we got is some vanilla and some good shine alright and then And I'm going to show you something that I do that's kind of a trick. Alright, so I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All the sugar is melted. I turned the heat off. Now sometimes if you're impatient and you want to help cool that down a little bit, hey, a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, you know, a good seal of ice. If you sit that in there, that's going to help cool that down. A lot faster. Okay, so as soon as it's cool, then we'll be back and we're going to finish this puppy up. Okay, that's all nice and cool. That ice trick does work. Okay, so what's next on there? Now we need one and a half tablespoons of vanilla in here. One and a half. One and a half. Okay. And then the last thing is shine. Mm. This is 100 proof shine. Uh, now the recipe calls for one quart, so I want about half of this. Well, maybe a little bit more than half. A little more than half. I might even taste that in the... Uh, See if I need a little more in there, you know what I'm saying? But the recipe calls, the full recipe calls for one quart. But like I said, I'm only making a, uh, a half a, half a batch. Ooh, perfect. Don't need no more. Okay, easy enough. And I'm going to repeat it again because I just do. Uh, I'm making a half a batch, but I'll put the full recipe in. If you want to divide it in half, you're more than welcome to, you know? Alright, let me get rid of the spoon. 
All right, so now all we got to do is uh, fill up these jars without making too much of a mess. And then you'll be able to see the pretty color that it is. Coffee shine is pretty tasty. There's one. All these different shines I've been making, you would actually uh, think I'd be overrun with shine, but I'm actually not. I think there's a few people that's really enjoying Moonshine Wednesday besides me and Lauren. That's great. That is great. There's another one. And then a piece. Probably could store these on the shelf because it's uh, got enough alcohol in it. But yeah, I, I'm gonna put one in the refrigerator just cause. All right, so now, now the tough spot. We gotta taste it. I mean, visually, it looks like a big black cup of coffee. Uh, it smells like coffee. Wow! Of course it has a real coffee taste. I mean, it's, but do you need to put cream? No, it's not bitter at all. I thought it would be a little bit on the bitter side because it was really strong coffee, but it's not. Uh, I guess the brown sugar really wiped that out. I could taste a little bit of the alcohol in the beginning and then you get a nice coffee taste after that, nice creamy, silky coffee taste after that. Oh wow! Maybe I should have made a full batch, because you know what? They don't last. Alright, that is our fantastic coffee shine. Alright. Put some labels on there so I keep track of them. I'm glad you come around for Moonshine Wednesday. I hope you still enjoy it. Hey, if you do, and I've, I've mentioned it before, if you, if you do have a um, one of your favorite moonshines that you make, and you want me to put it on the show, hey, that would be fantastic. I'll give you credit for it. Uh, so, you know, do that if you like. I guess the last thing I have to say, two things. Thanks for stopping by on Moonshine Wednesday. And I guess the last thing I got to say is, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is good. <laughs>